Hey you, welcome or welcome back. Today's vlog is all about productivity, what I'm currently reading, getting things done around the house, studying, all that good stuff. But first, I wanted to tell you guys I saw The Little Mermaid in theaters and I filmed that for you. It was one of the coolest movies I've seen in a minute. And here's my reaction. Like and subscribe. The day has finally come. The Little Mermaid is officially in theaters. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit excited, just a little bit. And it's because The Little Mermaid was my absolute favorite princess movie until Princess Tiana came out. When I was a kid, okay, <laughs> a tiny bit embarrassing, um, but we're friends. I know you're not gonna make fun of me. Right? When I was in elementary school, I had this best friend, her name was Anna, and we used to pretend like we were mermaids at recess every single day. And you know at lunch, it's like buffet style, and you would pick up the things that you wanted to eat, right? Every single day, without fail, we got croutons for the salads. We didn't get the actual salad. We got the croutons to put on top of the salad. <laughs> We would take those croutons, go outside, and at recess, we would pretend that the croutons were mermaid food. And that was the only thing that we could eat. And we would run around the playground acting like we were mermaids. Did we have any other friends? <laughs> I think that answers itself. <laughs> but we had the most fun outside, okay? The most fun. And I do not regret it for a second. Most of my life, I genuinely, genuinely thought I was a mermaid. <laughs> I wish I was kidding, but I'm not <laughs> at all. I read only mermaid books. Every time Scholastic came to my school, I would always go straight to the fantasy section. I even found like a mermaid series. I cannot remember the name for the life of me. Please, if anyone knows what I'm talking about, I barely have any details left, but that book series changed my life. I read them over and over again. I was so obsessed. It was about this girl. She becomes a mermaid, obviously, and she lives with her dad and she's like trying to hide it. And I remember her swimming under stuff. That's all I could remember as a 26 year old, what I was reading when I was 10. So if anyone else read any books from Scholastic and they know the book that I'm talking about, please leave it in the comments down below. I need to buy those books just for nostalgia purposes. Even if it's not good anymore, I was obsessed those books okay and then we watched like h2o2 the show came out during that time too and we also saw 13 by disney channel that movie basically it's about this kid who turns into a mermaid when he's 13 and it turns out that everyone who's a mermaid turns into a mermaid when they're 13 and me as an 11 year old i'm watching this and i'm like stuff is starting to make sense this is why i'm not a mermaid yet i'm not 13 i still got time to marinate that was my thinking and so for the next two years I waited patiently birthday after birthday like oh no I'm so much closer now I'm about to be a mermaid I'm about to be a mermaid and like obviously I wouldn't tell anyone because I was too old to think I was a mermaid but in the back of my head I really thought oh stuff is about to pop off I'm about to have powers I don't know if I can freeze things I don't know what I can do where am I gonna go I can swim anywhere I can breathe underwater I might not even go to school anymore and then when I turned 13 I was like Oh, I'm just crazy. And I realized that I wasn't actually a mermaid. So yeah, that stays here. We're not gonna talk about this anymore. But regardless, all I'm saying is I'm a huge fan of mermaids. I'm a huge fan of Ariel. And now that she looks like me and she's a live action, 10 year old me could not handle this information right now. I'm barely keeping it together and I'm 26. Like I'm so excited. I picked a late showing because it's Friday. So I had to work and I also didn't want to be with a bunch of kids at like six and seven. So my movie starts at nine. By the time you guys see this, it's it's gonna have been in the theaters for a while. So let me know if you've seen it, what you thought about it. If you were also an Ariel fan. I wanna ask you if you also thought you were a mermaid because I'm pretty sure I'm in the minority with that one. That's fine. Wish I could be part of your world. I'm ready.
did not get myself dinner. I just got McDonald's real fast because I don't feel like sitting. It's almost 12 right now. It was so good. Like even my wildest imagination as a kid, I could not have created such a beautiful show. It was just incredible. I, I have no words. Everyone, you need to watch it. Obviously I'm not sponsored <laughs> and obviously I'm a little biased, but wow, it was so beautiful. That is why, I get a little emotional. <laughs> that is why representation matters. Oh my gosh, like, I remember as a kid imagining myself as a mermaid, what I would look like as a mermaid. And I watched that movie so many times. And then to finally see one that looks like real people, obviously it's like not just um, animated, but like real people. But to see one that looks like me, man that like did something for my inner child it was so good and it wasn't overdone and it wasn't cheesy because a lot of the times when disney does the um live action movies the rendition of the original movies they're always bad or they have been in the past and the fact that they did my princess right oh uh, like <laughs> So good it was so good I'm just like so happy you know like you still always carry that little kid in you and it was so good you need to watch it is all I'm saying before I start crying I'm gonna go to bed because it is almost midnight and we have a lot of stuff to get done tomorrow oh I gotta wash my face all right yeah we gotta go I'll see you guys tomorrow Good morning. Oh my gosh, that movie yesterday was so good. I literally can't stop thinking about it. I told myself if I get everything done today and tomorrow that I'm supposed to, I'm gonna let myself go see it again. And I wanna go in the middle of the day at like 12 p.m. or 1 p.m. Because when I saw it last night, it was like prime time. It was the day it came out and there were a bunch of kids being loud, walking around. And I'm like, this is my childhood. Shut up and let Ariel sing. This girl, triggered. This girl sitting next to me, she didn't have the amount of attention span needed to watch a two and a half hour movie. Every five seconds, she had her phone up and it was on the highest brightness. You're in a movie theater. You're not the only person watching this movie, ma'am. And what can I say? Cause then if I say something, not only am I rude, but I'm making more of a commotion and then more people will look at us. So I'm just looking at this woman. Every time she pulled it up, I would just, Maybe I was doing too much, but every time she did, I was like, <laughs> and then the guy on my other side, he just kept getting, I am not exaggerating. He got up at least three times and not just like, oh, like I have to go to the bathroom. Let me be quiet. No, no, no. He was like, <sighs> stand in front of the freaking screen like that. Like, have you never been to the movie theater? This is a collective group trying to enjoy a new movie read the room and I was too enthralled in the magic of the movie to like really let that ruin my experience which is good I'm glad that I did it but now that I've watched it and I know how incredible it is I want to see it again and I want to see it the right way so if we clean up the house do everything we're supposed to do study I want to go see the movie in the middle of the day where it's completely quiet and I want to see it in 3d so we've got a lot of work to do roll up them sleeves I'm not cleaning this house by myself you got to help me Let's get this show on the road, kids. Now, we should be listening to Pimsleur while we clean so that I can continue to study Japanese. But we're gonna listen to the Little Mermaid soundtrack. Yeah, that's where we're at right now. Part of your world.
much longer than I thought it would. <laughs> I've been cleaning for like three hours, oh my gosh. But the house now smells incredible and it looks so freaking good. He was just the emotional support. Also, fire soundtrack, fire. Every single song was so good. I listened to it over and over again for those three hours. Yeah, prepared to be sick of me. <laughs> I'm gonna live in this moment for as long as possible. I'm going to eat and then shower and then we can head on over to H Mart. We're gonna pretend like this is gonna happen real quick, all right? Ready, set. <sighs> We're ready to go. All right, guys, I have good news, bad news, bad news. <laughs> bad news is, first off, it's not called H Mart, it's Cam Man. I thought we lived near an H Mart. It's actually a different market, but it's an Asian market. Number two, because I looked up the hours of operation for H Mart, I did not realize Cam Man closes much earlier than H Mart. So therefore, this is closed. The only good news is we could go home or we could go to Target, which is literally two minutes away. We can get some self-care stuff, maybe some snacks. And I think that would make this whole trip worth it. So let's get going. Not even gonna get that many. But look at this. Look at this. I just got back. I put on some pajamas because it's 10 o'clock and I'm ready to get cozy. But let me show you what I got from Target. First up, I got two of my favorite waters. They were on sale for two for nine dollars, I think. And then I got this huge thing of conditioner from Cantu. I use this all the time, but I've never seen it in like this kind of size. It was only 10 bucks. So I was like, absolutely. And then I got these claw clips because the ones that I'm currently using keep breaking. I guess my hair is too thick and these seem a little more durable. So we'll give it a go. And then tomorrow after we study all day and we have a self care night, I plan on giving myself a bubble bath. So I got a new uh, exfoliator and I got a shower steamer in lemongrass amazing then I got three books this is the one that I'm most excited about this is little fires everywhere by Celeste NG I have no idea how to even start pronouncing that but NG and this is what got me this is what the back says in Shaker Heights, a placid progressive suburb of Cleveland, everything is planned from the layout of the winding roads to the colors of the houses to the successful lives its residents will go on to lead. And no one embodies this spirit more than Elena Richardson, whose guiding principle is playing by the rules. Enter Mia Warren, an artist and single mother who arrives in this idyllic bubble with her teenage daughter Pearl and a disregard for the status quo that threatens to upend this carefully ordered community. Suspicious of Mia and her motives, Elena is determined to uncover the secrets in Mia's past, but her obsession will come at unexpected and devastating cost. Little Fires Everywhere explores the weight of secrets, the nature of art and identity, the ferocious pull of motherhood, and the danger of believing that following the rules can avert disaster. That sounds amazing. Next up, I got a summer romance. Listen, 
it's almost June. I don't make the rules. Everyone needs a summer romance. This is every summer after. I heard it's really good, so I got it. Then last but not least, I got this book, The Boy, The Mole, The Fox, and The Horse. This just looks beautiful. I've never heard of this at all, but look at the inside. Like the illustrations, the writing. How could I say no to this? And then I looked it up on Goodreads and it has amazing reviews. Apparently it's a classic, so. It really reminds me of The Little Prince. I feel like I'm gonna read this very soon. I may just read this before I finish reading the book that I'm currently reading, which is Exit West. So, we'll see. Then I got myself some dinner. I got myself some sushi. Very excited to eat this because I'm starving. And that's it, kids. Pretend this was all H Mart goods, okay? Good morning, everyone. Actually, almost afternoon. It is 11.21. I studied six hours yesterday, so I'm very proud of myself. Go ahead. No! Thank you, thank you. Yes, we did very good yesterday. You didn't see it, but take my word for it. And today, I wanna to study for another six hours. We can do an hour, an hour, and then five hours when I get home, I guess. And then, like on my breaks, I'll just do laundry and like everything else that I needed to do. So we've got a lot to do is, is the whole point here. Come on, boo. Let's go study. I've got everything ready. I have my whiteboard to practice, my iPad, my book for my breaks. We're doing the Pomodoro method. Today we'll do 50-10. Obviously we're only doing one hour now, so I'll just do 60 minutes now. Also, I don't know why this is not sponsored, obviously, but I love this spray. It's the SOS spray by Tower 28. So whenever I'm studying, wait, you can't see my face. So whenever I'm studying, I just spray this on my face because I feel like it gets dry throughout the day. And I don't know if it's like the placebo effect, but I'm feeling pretty good. I feel like it keeps me from breaking out and I just really like it. So I always have it when I study and it kind of wakes me up too. So if I'm feeling a little groggy, I'll spray myself in the face. And it also has an added skincare benefit. So it's a win-win situation. Let me get my laptop. All right, we are ready for business. I also have some banana bread and we're just gonna keep listening to the Little Mermaid soundtrack. Yeah, when I said be prepared to be sick of me, I meant it. And we begin. Studied for an hour. Now I get to see a three hour movie. I actually think it's two hours. <laughs> okay, let's go. Such a nice study break. Ugh, it just keeps getting better. I may just have to see it a third time. I don't know, we'll see. I do have Disney Plus, so I might just wait for that. And when I was there, I spent $9 on pretzel bites and they were microwaved and nasty and I ate them dry because when I went to the register and she said my bottle of water was six dollars I said mm, no thank you so I ate them dry like a barbarian I'm gonna go make a snack real fast I'm back. This process takes so long though. I think in total with washing it, putting on the hair mask, washing it out, and styling, it takes about like three to four hours every single Sunday. But I can't complain because it's really helping my hair grow. So, c'est la vie. All right. I finished. This is the finished product. Tomorrow I'll have gorgeous curls. 
But right now I am tired and I'm going to sleep. Thank you so much for spending the weekend with me. I love you guys very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.